Welcome back. Time is now 740. There's been a summer surge of COVID cases. There could be even more cases after some big events here in Chicago. Joining me this morning is Dr. Joseph Bailey with Northwestern Medicine. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What would you say is leading to this summer surge that we're currently seeing? Well, there's a lot that goes into surges of COVID. Uh, like you say, we know that co cases are rising nationally and the, the other element to these uh, the, to the surge most recently is that uh, statistics underestimate how severe COVID is in the nation. So a lot of people who are feeling sick recently, they may not test, or if they do test, they may buy a test at home and then uh, uh, do it at home. It never ends up in our national statistics. So even the, the surge in cases that we're seeing is probably an underestimate for how much COVID is really out there. And Unfortunately, just, oh, go ahead. No, you, you go ahead. You can finish. Oh, I was, uh, you know, just going to, you were asking about why this may be surging lately. Some of it is going to have to do with, um, you know, the events that have happened, things like big public events, so Lollapalooza. In the past, we've been really, really careful about how we run those events, right? Uh, in 2021, Lollapalooza required that everybody who attend uh, either be vaccinated or have a negative test before they come. And uh, we tracked cases. People did really well. There were very few cases of COVID acquired in Lollapalooza that year. This year, of course, things have kind of been done a little bit you know, more openly. And so uh, there may be a little bit more COVID that's transmitted to Lollapalooza this year. And obviously it's the summertime in Chicago. There's so much going on. We got the Air and Water Show this weekend. The DNC is coming up. Also had the Bud Billiken Parade this coming weekend. What would be your guidance for somebody who wants to be cautious, but also wants to get out and enjoy all the great things that Chicago has to offer this summer? Absolutely. So the first thing to do is to think about your risk. The biggest risk for severe COVID infection is going to be immunosuppression. Those are the people who I see who, when they get COVID are still needed to come to the hospital, who are still maybe needing oxygen, who have, might have that severe infection. And you want to think about that for yourself, but also for your family and your loved ones, right? Uh, we need to be careful. We need to think about ways to protect our families as well as to protect ourselves so that we're not spreading COVID to people who might uh, be at risk for a severe infection. And Dr. The next thing is to oh, the next thing is to think about va vaccinations. Uh, vaccinations really help control uh, getting infection, getting really severe infection. There's going to be new vaccines coming out in August, September that are going to uh, kind of cover the most modern variants. We know that a lot of people have vaccines at this point, but a lot of people don't get those updated vaccines. And I would really encourage people, if you want to be careful, the vaccines are safe, the vaccines are effective, and they're going to help prevent that severe infection. And Dr. Bailey, if somebody does test positive, what is the guidance now for, should people still be isolating if that is the case? Absolutely. There was a lot of confusion in the spring about kind of the change in the CDC's recommendation. The, the CDC initially had some guidelines for what to do if you get the flu, some guidelines for what to do if you get the co if you get COVID. And they were different, and that was a little bit confusing. They streamlined things now, kind of with understanding that people may not be testing, or some of those tests may not be done with their doctors, and people not may not have that uh, kind of uh, specific recommendations for what is actually causing that illness. So, if you get sick this summer, uh, whether it's COVID or whether it's with another infection, you want to isolate while you're feeling bad. If you're having a fever, if you're, uh, you know, really in that acute phase of illness, that's when you want to uh, isolate, keep yourself safe, uh, and keep others uh, safe from potentially getting that infection. Once you're starting to feel better, if you haven't had a fever for 24 hours, that's when we say you can go out, but wear a mask it is still possible that you have some positivity that you might be able to spread uh, an infection wear a mask for five days after you're feeling that dr belly thanks so much for your time this morning and for that update on what to do as we're all dealing with this uh, summer surge of covid really appreciate your time